started our relations uh, more than um, half a century ago, which is a quite long time. Yeah. And uh, the important uh, point is Turkey always uh, regarded Kenya as a very important actor in the continent and a reliable partner. And uh, our embassy is one of the oldest Turkish embassies in the continent. So this shows that from the beginning uh, we attach great importance to uh, Kenya and uh, from that uh, date uh, our uh, relations uh, improved gradually. Many Kenyans are reaping the benefits ranging from food donations, clean water projects, farm machineries and even medical camps, all from the Turkish government. As you all know, we are going uh, through a very challenging time all around the world globally we are facing the same enemy uh, COVID-19 pandemic and uh, we believe that these are the times for solidarity and uh, now each country is trying to fight with it but also uh, we should not uh, forget about the uh, needy people and uh, that's why today we are here to support our Kenyan uh, friends uh, fight against COVID-19. Uh, we, we would like to contribute from uh, Turkey together with TIKA. COVID-19 is a global pandemic affecting all sectors of the world, including traveling. Kenya-Turkey relationship has grown over the years, which led to the introduction of direct flights between the two countries. Turkish Airlines is flying uh, every day. Uh, now we have to sp uh, stop because of the yeah. COVID. Yes. But uh, this also brought two countries closer. And uh, of course, uh, from that time, we uh, develop our uh, economic and trade relations. And then we have a, a very important development partnership with Kenya. Turkey first established diplomatic ties with Kenya late 1967 and opened an embassy in 1968. The bilateral relations gained momentum following high-level visits over a decade ago. We have uh, many things uh, to do, I mean in economy, in education, in development partnership, in security. So uh, what I am trying to do is to bring our relations to a, a new level. In 2016, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan visited Kenya where he signed several deals to improve business and political relations. Uh, now, uh, Turkish Airlines uh, stopped the uh, passenger uh, flights, yeah. but uh, Turkish Airlines cargo flies to Kenya every day. Every day. So we are keeping uh, Kenya connected to the world markets. Of course, we also bring our goods and we also bring uh, Kenyan uh, export uh, products to the world. So this is important. We continue by somehow. Some of the goods that Kenya imports from Turkey include household appliances, processed foods, construction material and iron, among others. While Kenya exports mainly agricultural products to Turkey, including coffee, tea and fresh fruits. I know that uh, the uh, Mombasa port is working. This is also very important. It means that the uh, inflow and outflow is still going on. So what we do is now we uh, check what Kenya needs. These important times. Mm -hmm. So uh, according to this, we uh, uh, advise our uh, private sector uh, that, okay, this country needs this, but plus, they want to sell their flowers, coffees and tea to the Turkey and to the world markets. Let's cooperate on this way. I also would like to point one more thing. For example, before it was very important, our business circles visiting each other, going to the fairs and everything so on. Yes. This keep the um, economic relations alive. But now there is no flights, anything. Nobody can visit. So what we did is we initiated uh, virtual uh, trade delegations between Turkey and Kenya. And uh, last month we had the uh, first one. Uh, we bring uh, 30 companies from Turkey and around 80 from Kenya. Oh. They, were, they met online and uh, like a fair, but a virtual fair, they just uh, see about, the, uh, look for the opportunities. So we must be creative in these times. And so I must say I am very optimistic wow. about our future. 
Turkey has been in the forefront on the fight against COVID-19 in Kenya through the Turkish Embassy in Kenya and the Turkish Cooperation and Coordination Agency, TICA, distributed food and hygiene items to the needy in the country. We are facing a global uh, pandemic mm -hmm. and of course uh, all economies of the world are affected. This, of course, Turkey and uh, Kenya, we cannot spare. But what we have to do is, uh, okay, this is the situation, we cannot change it, but we must look for the ways how we can keep steady our economic relations. So um, now we, are, we started working on it. Uh, for example, uh, we have announced Kenya as one of the uh, priority countries in 2018. Okay. And uh, this is, uh, Kenya was among 26 countries, mm -hmm. and among them were the United States, um, Malaysia, very big economies, but we also regard Kenya as a prior uh, country, priority country. This shows that uh, there is a huge potential. The Turkish ambassador to Kenya on the 15th of July participated in a tree planting event at the Ngong Forest in Nairobi that saw 250 trees planted. The event commemorated the Day of Democracy and National Unity in Turkey after a failed attempted coup on July 15, 2016. The Turkish Cooperation and Coordination Agency has chosen to celebrate uh, the Democracy and National Unity Day of the Turkish government by planting trees. We are very grateful as Kenya Forest Service that we chose to plant in one of our forests. Kenya has 2.59 million hectares of gazette and forest areas. And Gong Hills, where we are right now, is 3,000 and 77 hectares. And we are kindly requesting you and welcoming you to adopt a forest. Because to achieve this target, we are not doing it alone. We are doing it with the partners like you. We are doing it with other friends, other stakeholders. We are welcoming you to adopt a forest within our forest area. It can be in Naropi, it can be outside Naropi, because I believe these Turkish people would wish to go and see uh, Mount Elgon, Mount Kenya, Mau, you know they have to remain only in Nairobi. Go and adopt a forest somewhere and your people will be going to see the Turkish forest in Kenya and you are welcome to do that. Turkish Cooperation and Coordination Agency was established in 1992 to assist developing countries in Central Asia and Balkans after the collapse of Soviet Union and Yugoslavia. Then since 2000s, we have expanded our out, uh, reach, reach out to Middle East, North Africa, South Asia and Latin America. Tika works with an approach that involves sharing Turkey's development experience with other countries and relies on the understanding of cooperation partnership. Since 2012, we have been working in Kenya and we have been focusing five major areas. Thousands of families from different parts of Kenya have benefited a lot from the Turkey's state-run aid agency. Tika has established itself in various sectors in the country, including education, where several students have been assisted in one way or another. First of all, like in other countries, we have been working in education sector. Bridging gaps in educational development is the program we have been running in Kenya for the last five years and we have been assisting to the communities through educational institutions supporting their infrastructure and also supporting the students in both primary schools high schools uh, we have established libraries uh, science labs and also we have supported the, the self-empowerment of the uh, girl child. Free medical camps in Kenya from different organizations is not a new thing. Tika has been in the forefront in ensuring that vulnerable Kenyans get quality medical attention through various free medical camps in collaboration with other stakeholders. To our health programs which we have uh, been running under PIC promoting inclusive and quality healthcare program in Kenya 
We have done seven medical camps in Kenya in the last three years, and we have been reached out thousands of patients in all over Kenya, uh, from Dadaab refugee camp to Kakuma refugee camp, to Lamu, to uh, Magadi, and also in Kiambu, we have done a Turkish-Hungarian medical camp together with third parties. The Turkish Cooperation and Coordination Agency, TIKA, has also donated ambulances in the country. We have established a maternal shelter in Ijara, in Garissa. We have donated three ambulances to uh, various counties during the devolution process, and we have supported the uh, mother and uh, child care in, in, in medical institutions through various medical equipment. But our free medical camps from eye surgeries to dental operations to the major operations has given a big impact to the communities. We have reached out to the uh, refugee communities and also host communities. Even in central Kenya, we have identified gaps and we have done free surgical camps. Access to clean water and sanitation is a big challenge for many people in Kenya. Tika, through their WASH program, have drilled several boreholes in Kenya, helping many access clean water. We have been assisting to the communities to access clean, portable water. And then uh, we have been drilling uh, quality deep boreholes. One of them is just recently we have integrated in Kajiado County. Uh, and uh, it's a solarized uh, mpesa based system that enables the community to manage their own resources. Uh, and then we want to also expand our WASH program and coverage to through uh, county governments in various parts of Kenya. TIKA, under its Sustainable Livelihoods Enhancement Program, aimed at enhancing the capacity of small-scale poultry farmers and dissemination of knowledge about innovative technologies in Kenya, has upgraded the hatchery and animal feed unit in Kakamega County. Kakamega Non-Ruminant Research Institute, we have established a modern uh, hatchery and feeding facilities in uh, Kakamega County to address the gap in Western Kenya for breeding the local Kinyenji chicken. Uh, we have established a capacity of 16,000 eggs hatchery. We have provided uh, feed mixers and other facilities, uh, even a cold chain to manage the parental stock and various, various items to increase the capacity of that uh, research institute. The modern poultry unit has a capacity of 16,000 eggs and will be used in enhancing and improving the breed of indigenous chicken sold across the distribution chain in the country. Kenya's Vision 2030 is the country's national long-term development blueprint, covering the period from 2008 to 2030. It aims to transform Kenya into a newly industrialized, middle-income country that provides high quality of life for all citizens in a clean and safe environment by 2030. In line with uh, Kenya's 2030 vision, we have been cooperating with both national institutions and county governments and also NGOs. Uh, to enable their visions and, and visions realized, we have been uh, matching them with their counterparts in Turkey. Uh, to just to give an example, we have uh, sent delegations for benchmarking visits to Turkey from Kenya Meat Commission, Kenya 2030 Vision Delivery Secretariat, uh, and also to support uh, the security agenda of Kenya. We have been collaborating with National Police Service and Turkish General Directorate of Security. We have been doing training programs to fight against uh, terrorism and also illegal money laundering and uh, transnational crime. We don't see it's a kind of a, a relationship between a donor and recipient. We want to build sustainable partnerships between Kenya and Turkey. Yeah.